everybody, welcome to this edition of Channel 96 News. It is current. This news is everything that happened in July 2020. Let's get started. Now, here are our sponsors for our first couple of days. From July 1st to July 17th, Cable News Network, Turner Broadcasting System Incorporated, Harness Magazine Media Incorporated, and Billboard. Now, let's get on to some news. Ed Henry. Ed Henry fired from Fox News over sexual misconduct allegation. Now, here's the thing. Why are you going to be doing stupid stuff? Like, literally. No. That's just dumb. Stop doing stupid stuff. Congratulations. You got yourself fired. Now, you're probably living off of some employment. Because that's literally what almost everyone's doing right now, which I think is going to kill everything, literally, because all businesses aren't getting much money at all. So, yeah, that's that. Next story, Alexander Hamilton. After Aaron Burr killed Alexander Hamilton in that infamous duel, he lived this race. Yeah, this story isn't much to talk about. I don't really remember most of it, so let's just move on. Fourth of July, Florida topped 200 thousand coronavirus cases as nation marked a different July 4th. And I bet you the reason of that is because everyone's crowding together and all of that. It's ridiculous. Stop doing stupid stuff once again. If you're going to go somewhere, wear a mask. It's the easiest way you can stop the spread of coronavirus. As it prevents 80% of it. But you gotta be careful though. 20% is still a lot. So don't take don't think it's gonna keep you safe at all costs. And if you are getting a mask, try to get an N95, as that is the most superior type of mask, while all the other ones suck, especially the dumb bandanas. That's not even a mask, that's a freaking accessory that you just put on your face. Like literally. Alright, next. Kanye West. Kanye West says he's running for president, but he hasn't actually taken any steps. Now, here's the freaking thing. Why the heck are you doing this? If you're going to run for president, you're actually you're gonna have to plan and know what you are going to get into. He hasn't been doing anything, so obviously he ain't gonna be the president. Even if he is one of the candidates, He's probably not going to receive a lot of votes. Nick Cordio. Nick Cordio, standout actor in Broadway musicals, dies of COVID-19 qualifications at 41. Yeah, it kind of sucks how the COVID-19 pandemic has grown since it all started. So yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. And it's sad to see all these people die from it. Yeah. Just moving on. Charlie Daniels, Devil Went Down to Georgia, singer, famed fiddler, and outspoken star, dies at 86. I believe he died from natural causes, so. But it's kind of sad seeing him go too. Mary Kay Letronu. Mary Kay Letronu, teacher who raped student and then married him, dies at 58 due to cancer. Now, the raping part I don't like at all, but the marrying thing is confusing. I don't know how it works. But now she's dead from cancer, so that counts as another death, which is unfortunate. All right, here are the sponsors for this week two of July. Harness in Television Incorporated, Forbes Media LLC, Variety Media, ABC News, Internet Adventures, Cable News Network, and BBC. All right, Naya Rivera One. The reason why I labeled it with different numbers is I will be covering the story in two different parts. And Glee star Naya Rivera presumed dead after disappearing at California Lake. Officials say. That's literally what they say. So it was kind of a mystery of where she went. All right, 
Goya Foods, defending Goya Foods, UFC George Massavidal fights the woke mob. Now, if you want more information on that, just look it up on the web. It's easy. Go to your, go to Firefox because I recommend that is the best browser ever. Look it up or something because it's gonna get interesting once you look at it. August Alessina. Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith address prior separation. August Alessina relationship on Red Table Talk. Annabeth Bakchan. Let me know if I said that wrong, please. But I spelled Hollywood wrong. Sorry about that, guys. Hollywood's am Amit. Whatever. What the? What is that? Ametaba Bakachin, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Three family members test positive. Now, if your family members test positive, stay away from them for at least two weeks because you don't want to get it either. Because this is a pandemic and we don't need any more positive cases as it is, but no matter what we do, we still get positive cases. John Travolta, John Travolta and Kelly Preston's love story is popular in the internet today. So check it out if you want to. All right, Naya Rivera 2, the update on that story. Naya Rivera Glee star died of accidental drowning, California official says. Yeah, she got drowned by some weird type of water that doesn't let you swim up. I never heard of it in my life but it's apparently a thing, and it's ridiculous how it works. But at least she saved her child in the process. All right, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon to remain on Fox show after Viacom CBS fired him over anti-Semitic comments. Which, you shouldn't be doing that. You should not be doing anti-Semitic comments because that's just racist in general and it's not okay racism needs to stop all right sponsors for week three bbc forbes media llc cable news network the football association and the blast all right megan the stallion suffered gunshot wounds apparently injuring the foot now i don't know who the sh she got shot by but it must have been pretty bad in the procedures to get the bullet removed or something. It probably is not going to be pretty. Washington Redskins prep party speculation, speculation about Washington Redskins, Redskins story was a terrible moment for men in sports media. And also on that, they're also looking into renaming the team because of race issues or some sort. It's been doing that for years and now they're finally looking into it. John Lewis, civil rights legend rep John Lewis dead at 80. Now, when I looked on the news and realized when this story came out, I don't even know if he's buried yet. And this guy's been not buried for two weeks which is a long time to not be buried in. I don't know why they, I don't know if he's probably buried by now, but he was a congressman and he unfortunately passed away. FA Cup. Charlicia pronounced a ruthless performance to see off Manchester United and set up a London Derby in the final of the 2019-2020 Hermia's FA Cup. Alright, Esther Solos, Judge Esther Solos and Mark Andrew were brought together by the law. Now they face unexpeakable loss. Yeah, they lost their son. No, I don't know if it's their son or daughter, but they lost their kid to, a, to some shooter who was trying to kill um, Esther Solos. But they killed the kid instead and yeah it was not good and the husband was mark was 
I don't know if it's husband or Mark, I think. No, I don't think it was Mark, but F. Florsalis' husband was injured and was sent to the hospital. Nicki Minaj announces pregnancy, which means you could be expecting a child coming from her soon. More news will probably be on other news channels in the future. I don't know about this one. It depends on how popular it gets. All right, moving on to the next story. Meek Hill, Kim Kardashian, and Meek Hill photo proof the hotel meeting was strictly business. Now, I don't know what kind of business it is, but let's hope it's not bad business. Sponsors for week four are NPR, Cable News Network, Fox Television Stations, The New York Times Company, and Capitol Hill Publishing Corp. All right, One Direction, 10 years ago today, well, as of July 23rd, One Direction created the universe. They were around, they existed for 10, their music has existed for 10 years now which is ridiculous how it had a decade, so... Yeah, moving on to the next story, Ted Yoho. Associated Quartz reveals new details about viral incident with Representative Ted Yoho. Alright, UFO, not made on this Earth, top secret Pentagon UFO task force reportedly expected to reveal some findings. Yeah, UFO sightings I can't believe this is happening right now, but a U.S. freaking O. People. Now, this image is not the actual UFO that's been spotted. This is just an image of what I got off the internet, so. Anyways, Regis Philbin, TV's Enduring Everman, dies at 88. Yeah, unfortunately, he's gone too. A lot of these people have died in this world, especially over the past several months. But a lot of people died in this presentation. Next one, Olivia D. Haviland, star of Gone with the Wild, dies at 104. She was a centenaire, and now she's unfortunately gone. So, which is sad. Now, hydrochloroquine. The hydrochloroquine debacle playing doctor on social media platforms. Now, the people who posted this are idiots because they posted themselves taking the drug, but we don't even know if it's effective against COVID-19. And because of the result of that, it was taken down by YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. So I don't know what has gotten into these people, but don't post content like that. You guys are idiots if you do, because it's going to get taken down. And if you get it and take it down from YouTube, you will get a community strike. I think for this specific reason, you would get a community strike. Next up, Joe Kelly, viral Joe Kelly Astro's Instagram post is fake. If you want to know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the one where he was holding three children. Well, we apparently it was fake. AKA fake news. All right, sponsors for overtime of July, which is the 29th to the 31st, we have NPR, WorldPress.com, VIP, and Gannett. All right, Malk B, early member of the Roots, dies at 47. Yeah, I don't know what he died from. Nobody announced what he died from, but it was definitely not natural causes. So we need to figure out what he died from. Maybe we'll figure out this month. And if we do figure out this month, we'll be sure, and it becomes popular enough, we will be sure to post it on the August version of the... Um, Channel 96 News. All right. Paquita Abad, a painter of women around the world, celebrated with a Google do Doodle. Which is honestly a good looking doodle in my opinion. 
Now, the TikTok ban. I have a lot of thoughts on this one. TikTok's response to Trump's proposed ban, we're not planning on going anywhere. Now, here's the thing about America. I don't know what evidence they think, but I don't know. We don't know what evidence there is of TikTok spying on the U.S. government or anything. Another thing, Trump can't physically ban TikTok for one reason, because there is a right in the Constitution known as the freedom of speech, which allow, which includes social media and posting their content as that's them in their speech you can are allowed to post on stuff like this now some people may go against that but they can't physically do that they can't physically take it down no matter what they say so that's that and also oh, let me go back. Well, another thing, Microsoft might take over TikTok as well, as that is a chance that's starting to happen soon. I don't know if that will actually happen or not, but there are rumors going around that Microsoft could take over TikTok. So if you have to change your account to your Microsoft account, that will probably be why. Luckily, I already made a Microsoft account, but another thing, I don't use TikTok, so it's not much of a problem to me. All right, popular topics time. Now, these are the popular stories that's been going around for months. Now, we have a lot of sponsors. We have Nick, NickySwift.com, American Football International, The Verge, LearningEnglish.Viona News, CNN, Gallup Poll, and Yahoo News UK. And maybe more that I probably forgot. Alright, let's get to it. Twit Taylor Swift versus Kim Kardashian. Taylor Swift can't stand Kim Kardashian. The reason is on a website I found. I don't remember it, obviously. So yeah. They're in war right now. The World Cup. World Cup winner. Hodes. I don't think I'm saying it right because it's a, probably a German accent. Retires from soccer at 32. I don't know what he's going to do now, but he probably was a legend. American football versus American football. And there, then there were none. German Football League is officially cancelled for 2020. Which I'm pretty sure we all saw this coming if you live in Germany because of the fact that COVID-19 has been growing rapidly and a lot more rapidly since March as that's when things started shutting down like one of the literally one of the first things to go was March Madness that was the first thing to get taken away from us then well really flights been delayed first no that was third I think schools was second So yeah. Alright, moving on. Fortnite. Hyperscape Ubersoft's take on Fortnite launches August 11th, which means another war is yet about to begin with, with players favorite for someone's is, Yeah, another war is about to begin in a player's favorite game. Yeah, Fortnite versus Hyperscape. Now, I've, I've seen the trailer of this game. This game is pretty much a combination of Fortnite and Apex Legends because you got the maneuvers like you could in Apex Legends and you can build certain things. I don't know how much you can, I don't know what the limitations are in building, but you can build certain things, so. It's going to be ridiculous. It's gonna be a rival that Fortnite will have to take on. Fo versus Ramen versus Sova. Fo, ramen, or soba. Now, fo is pretty much made of beef. Ramen is made of um, pork, and soba is made of buckwheat. Let me know in the comments of this video which one is your favorite. 
as these are all types of noodles, just to let you know. All right, cupcake. Two indicted on federal kidnapping charges in abduction killing of Camille Cupcake McKinley. Now, here's my question. Why you kill people? Stop killing people. It's wrong. And I don't understand what the concept of it is. It's just ridiculously sad how young people have to go because somebody murders them. Well, actually, two of them are addicted to federal kidnapping charges. So, yeah, that's that. Now for some serious news. Coronavirus cases around the globe surpassed 17.7 million. More than 4.6 million cases have been recorded in the United States. Which I honestly think is ridiculous. We need to stop the spread of COVID-19 again. Get an N95 mask. Put it on your face whenever you leave your house. And please do so, because we need to stop COVID-19. Because y'all think it's over. It's not. Especially when it gets colder and the cases will spike. So please be careful and stay safe. Next up, protests for racial equality and justice. Two in three Americans support racial justice protests about the um, death of George Floyd, which is really surprising in my opinion, but at the same time, it's not. All right, LGBTQ plus Pride Month. Porsche celebrates gay pride with rainbow colored cars, also known as 911s, as you see in the picture on the right. Now, gay, I know Gay Pride Month was two months ago, but it's still important to celebrate. Alright, moving on. And that wraps up Channel 96 News. And you'll be soon joined in by the um, host, QJ1, for its schedule for current season, season 8, in this month's edition of this chap the season eight schedule i'll see you guys then all right everybody uh, welcome back i am huge and one is here if you're wondering who that was that was pretty much me with a different voice there's the other screen recording that i just recorded yeah i know i just got a notification for it now here we go you may call this august 2020 but i don't like to call it that i like to call it Chapter 2020, Season 8. The eighth season of the entire chapter involves... Here we go. Let's see. Here's what's to come in this season. On August 2nd, we will be doing a fun run three live stream that will last for um, five hours from 6 p.m. Eastern Time to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, I'm expecting a lot of people to tune in, as last time we gained, I think, at least five subs, thanks to that episode. No, way, I think it was three to five, I don't remember, but we had a really good time in that live stream, so I can't wait to see you guys come back and watch this live stream. It's going to be great. All right, next event, the Tournament 3, Round 3, August 7th. On this day... Three players will be eliminated from Tournament 3, depending on who you guys vote for. So if you haven't voted yet, please go to the comments of Round 2, as the people with the most dis down votes will be eliminated. They will be eliminated from Tournament 3, leaving 24 competitors in the third round of the tournament. Alright, next up is one of the best live streams of the month, because last time it was a huge success. The Genometry Dash live stream, August 12th, 2020. Now, I can't wait for you guys to tune into this one as well, as this one will really be entertaining, as a lot of people are going to return, and it's going to be very interesting. Now, again, I will be live for this live stream from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time, so it's going to be fun. 
All right, Tournament 3, Round 4, August 7th, 2020. On this day, three more people will be eliminated. So, whenever the Tournament 3, Round 3 video comes out, vote in the comments, as this will affect the, this portion of the Tournament of Round 4. It will leave 21 competitors competing in the fourth round of this tournament. Which, believe it or not, but it is getting a With, believe it or not, that's a lot of people, still. Next up, the most important part of the entire season, the 10 hour, my 17th birthday special. Notice it is subject to change depending on what happens throughout the entire week. But it starts on August 19th and ends at the end of the 25th. Now for these live streams, yeah, it's back. All seven games on the YouTube channel will be live streamed during this week. And I hope you guys enjoy. And on the 22nd, I will turn 17 years old. So yes, that's good news for me. So wish me a happy birthday sometime soon as I'm getting older once again. Now, the timing for how long this live stream will be will be from 1 p.m. Eastern Time to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. So yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. Now, here's the game's list. Genometry Dash will be on the 19th, will be the first one on the list. Then is Roblox on the 20th. Then after that is Minecraft on the 21st. Then on my birthday, Fortnite on the 22nd. Notice we might have a birthday party, so it could be either postponed or canceled. I'm sorry. I know I'm saying this. Let's just hope it's postponed. It's most likely going to be postponed, but if I end up do streaming it, it might not be exactly 10 hours, I know, but it's the best I can do. And then Fun Run 3 on the 23rd, that one will be pretty interesting as well. Call of Duty Mobile on the 24th. And then finally Terraria on the 25th. All right, moving on. And then the final event, of the season tournament three oh wait we forgot assure assure is on the 28th i forgot to list it on this powerpoint presentation i apologize for that that's on the 28th but this is tournament three round five on the 27th again three more people are eliminated but there will be 18 competitors so right now we have 27 competitors and by the end of the season we will only have 18 and those, the 18 that will remain in the game depend on you guys. So if you like the YouTuber, upvote them for praise. And if you don't like them, dislike them. Do a downvote in the comments in the, in the tournament videos. And you never know, your vote could make a difference. And eliminate competitors. Now here's the thing though, competitors can no longer vote as I should have banned that at the very start of the tournament, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. It caused a lot of drama, so I just stopped it all together. No more voting if you are a contestant. Now the competitors will be competing in the fifth round of the tournament. So at least the top 18 will. Anyways. And that is what's to come in August 2020, and now let's see who made it into the COVID-19 free celebration.